The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. There's the whistle. Shibasaki. Out to the left it goes. Oh, really good feet from him. Hit into the middle. And through to the goalkeeper. Sambo and Gisa. Sakai. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets into some space. So who's he picking out? Loose ball, who's going to get that? Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Cameroon are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Well, each team knows that they're still well below standard, and it's a question of uh, which can uh, find a way out. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Shibasaki. Now it's Osako. Osako was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Zambo and Gisa. Forward it goes. Cuts it out. Yoshida. Sakai. Yoshida. Well, that's where he wants it. And it's Osako. Keeper sends it forward. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Now he's wondering who wants it. And here's Osako. Osako gets it out to the wing. Looking for space out wide. Header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. It's the whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
How would you review the first half? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Japan can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. And here's Osako. And it's played forward. Neat exchange. Just brushed off the ball there. We're still waiting for a goal to report here. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempt. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. <laughs> Cleared away. Shibasaki. Done very well to intervene. Yoshida does well there. Alert. Shibasaki. Hoist it forward. Oh, good interception. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, it's a very good effort. There wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking fine margins now. Sambo and Gisa. And it's played forward. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Shibasaki. Uh, 
That's the throw. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goalless. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Japan certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. Well, that's it from us. Thanks very much, Jim. It's a very good day to you.